Scott Newby of Yamaha Outdoors is headed out on his first handgun hunt. He showed patience on the first day when a great buck was just a few yards out of Scott's comfort zone, but he was confident that the same buck would return, and he did. He just randomly came in from our left, started to slowly work his way in exactly where I needed him to be, exactly where I wanted him to be, and just had to make sure I gave him enough time to you know, get comfortable, get situated, as well as me, you know, making sure that I brought my heart rate down, that I got comfortable with the shot, got comfortable with my shooting position and everything too. And, and right when uh, he started to come off to the left a little bit and had a, uh, had a tree in front of him and started to come right back around to the right, thought it was perfect, everything was good, and slowly just squeezed off that round. You smoked that sucker. Did you say that? I mean, just elated overall and, and just jumping up and down inside. Of course, just see him kind of get right back up and, and take off to our left and thinking that it's going to be just, you know, just a couple yards. No big deal. No, no tracking whatsoever. And so after time passes, getting up to go track him and not having that initial sign when you go to where you shot, there's always that voice in the back of your head that just went, oh no, what happened? I mean, there's, there's no worse feeling than not finding your deer. And that was my first. I mean, the, the first one that, I've, what, that I was unable to find, and it's rough. I mean, it was sleepless nights, you know, and, and just going through the whole entire routine over and over again thinking, what could I have done better? What should I have done better? Because that's the last thing that I want is to not be able to, you know, just find them and you know be able to, be able to just see them, hold them up, and everything. I mean, makes you wonder, you know, what happened to him? Where's he at? It's one of the most painful, difficult situations in a deer camp. Morale is going to drop when. Somebody hits a deer and you look and you can't find them. I mean, you just can't find anything. Everybody deals with it different. There's no magic word to make somebody feel better. Uh, you know, I always go by the, the old topic of conversation of, you know, if you hunt long enough, it's going to happen to you. You know, and there'll be some guy out on social media on his keyboard right now going, I've never lost a deer and I've done this and I've done this. Good luck. Congratulations. Hunt a little longer and it may happen on the very next time you shot. And if it does, I hope you find that deer because it is a gut-wrenching feeling for hunters that have lost a deer or wounded a deer. And you really hear new hunters stress on it. I want to do right by the animal. I want to make a good shot. They strive that. They practice for that. They spend time in the summer doing that. Um, I'm the same way. You know, if I know I've got hunts coming up, I want to shoot my bow all summer long. I want to get ready. I just, I want to do right by the animal. And, and I think every good uh, caring person, hunter in the world uh, wants to do the same thing. <laughs>